We're going to do a video on the Trendmasters 1991 Strobe Spider. Uh, they, this is uh, one item in their series of quite a few Strobes. Um, I think, I think there's a bat one and then the rest of them are ghosts, but, um, I, I don't remember, um, I'm not sure. Um, these, these were, like, hanging on, uh, these were, like, hanging when they were sold, which I find kind of interesting because, um, my Shrieking Spider by Jemmy, which is very similar to this, um, does not, the box is, like, a, a little bit bigger. But, um, anyway, let's get into the item. There's quite a few to look at on the box. Um, so there's the, the front of it, and I did also get this from Goodwill. Um, this is electronic sound, um, effects right here, but it's covered up a little bit. And here it says, hang me up and I light up and scare your visitors with my wild dancing motion, haunting eerie howl. And back then, um, uh, I, like, this was back when animatronics weren't nearly as big as they are now. So, um, this would have, uh, scared someone, uh, more, way more than it would now. Um, I, especially, like, uh, small kids, I remember hearing someone said that, um, that the sound that these make, um, actually used to scare them when they were little. But, um, anyway, it says, Strobe Spider, sound activated, strobe light effect, wild dancing motion, eerie, howling sound, hangs anywhere. And it says the same thing on this side, and Trendmasters right there. And then, um, oh yeah, and also right here, there's something, it was sold for six dollars, which is, um, I'm pretty sure that's a good price, I don't know how much it is with, like, inflation now, but, um, sound activated, strobe spider, trademark, um, here on the back, this is Strobe Spider. Strobe Spider is the hanging, wildly spinning spider with flashing strobe light and an eerie howling sound. Your guests will freak out when Strobe Spider starts his wild dancing motion. Parents, for child's interest, we for child's best interest, we recommend adult supervision. Um, and then there's battery instructions for how to take off the cover and replace the batteries. It says 1991 Trendmasters Incorporated, and made in China, all that stuff. And it's turned it's, it's turn to switch on for Halloween fun. So, um, anyway, let's get to the item itself here. So here is the Strobe Spider itself. Um, all the legs are posable. They do, like, flop around a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that that was intended. Um, I'm just gonna pose the leg here, and, uh, so you can see the face there, kind of interesting looking face, and also uh, the legs like go in like a linear pattern upward. So um, it is interesting, but um, I think that they probably just did that so all the legs would be showing. But um, yeah, I'm not really sure. And uh, there's a metal ring up here around the string it hangs from, and here's the bottom. The bottom looks weird, it's kind of like, uh, there's a bit of yellow around uh, the battery cover here. That uh, probably didn't come with that, but it's entirely white um, when it was originally there. And also something strange about this, um, the, uh, it smells really weird, um, I'm not sure why. But, um, yeah, and also, um, you can see that there's, like, kind of elastic around here. You can actually take, um, this the actual spider part off, you can take like the cover off. Um, I have actually taken it all the way off. And I can probably do it right here. Um, I don't know why it's like this, but um, see, so you can take it off and have it be just a module. Um, and also, I've heard people say that um, like the items like these that have the same mechanism, uh, that the motor tends to be snapped off often. But I have uh, three, include no four, including this, and um, they all haven't snapped. So I guess I just got lucky. I'm going to try and get back on here. So um, it plays the eerie sound that we all know and love, and uh, it actually, for some reason, uh, it's kind of quiet. I don't know why it's so quiet. I don't know if all of them are like that. And on top of that. This one sounds very strange. I have no idea if it's a circuit board issue, a factory error, if they all sound like this. But, um, the sound is, it, like, kinda, I guess, distorted. It just sounds strange. And, um, also the light is very dim. But, um, yeah. Um, 
anyway, I don't think I have anything else to say about it. Um, there's a pretty small switch, but um, it says Trendmasters on the tag, and I'll show it now. talking about how it sounds weird. Um, I'm not sure why it does sound like that, but um, it does. You probably can't see the light at all when you listen to it. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say about it, so thanks for watching.